Underground, overground, womble and free. Wombles of Wimbledon, common are we. Oh, need me coffee, boys and girls. Need the coffee. And why? Been a rough month. So have you been wombling around the charts? Or did you have a plan? Let's discuss. And a warm welcome to one and all. And if this is your first time here, I am the big fella that is the scruffy trader. What I'm trying to do is put trading in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. So if that sounds good, do take a second to hit that little subscribe button. It genuinely helps. And if you find value in any of the videos, do hit the like and the super thanks. It genuinely keeps the channel on air. So what am I talking about? Wombling round the charts. Well, I think certainly by some of the messages that I get. That's what happens. People are just going to the chart, wombling about, and for those overseas, it just means wandering around. Quite directionless. They don't have a plan. Now, this month has been, well, let's just say it's been testing on, on one of the funded accounts that I run. Why? Well, I, I got clipped heavily at the beginning of the month. What? And I've had to spend the rest of the month working my way back to where I started from. However, I do have a plan. And that plan was damage control and also profit taking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my coffee up into the study and I'll just kind of talk you through it for a minute or two, but then I'll show you how you can draw some money out and how planning, even when things go wrong, can still pay you. Well, we're waiting. Okay guys, in my favorite chair, cause I like my office, love my screens and I like what I'm doing. And what is it I'm doing? Well, it's trading all the time. I live and breathe trading. I have done for years, it's well documented, and you see my statements, etc. if you've never seen them before. But because I'm good, doesn't mean to say I get it right all the time. Are you serious? But what I am is patient, methodical, and when it's wrong, I just accept defeat and cut it. Now at the beginning of this month, um, I was starting my gold fund and last month it did very well, uh, paid me, left a little bit of profit in it and rolled it over into this month. First couple of days, astounding. Then bang, I had six trades off the belt. Boom, 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 boom. Over the course of a couple of days, three days. And each one of them clipped me, clipped me really hard. So I thought, what do I do? How do I stop this? Well, I do what I always do. I left the asset alone. Didn't trade it. Just stepped away from it. Wanted a couple of days away to reset my mind. Okay, well, the mind's an amazing organ. I've got an amazing organ. It's capable of far more than you'd imagine. Right again. Calm myself down a little bit and just refocus on the asset. Because what happens when you're trading multiple assets is you can sometimes get number blind. In other words, you're looking at one screen and you, you get used to it. And then you come to the next screen and you make a mistake because you've already got a pre-thought in your mind. Now, when that starts to creep in, you have to step away. Now, for me, it's very difficult because I've got guys asking me to mark charts and trade charts all the time so i am looking um constantly at different charts and some days i have to just tell the guys look just calm yourself down um i need to reset a second here because ultimately trading is my salary 
And if I get it wrong, I don't get paid. And it might come as a shocker to you, boys and girls. I ain't a multimillionaire. Not like what you see on sort of Instagram or Land of Make Believe, all of this sort of crap. You know, these, these bozos. You ding dong! Give it to me again. You ding dong! I know. This is messed up. These guys. What's this one do? You're fucking idiots. I'm not. I'm just a guy who does a job. I'm happy with what I get. Now, I get pulled apart all the time. You know, in, even in sort of like the 5% is the prop, which I'm about to show you. I get pulled apart all the time. None of them make money, which astounds me. You know, they're very good to point a finger, but they're not very good at backing up what they're talking about. Whereas I do it the other way around. I might have a loud mouth, and I genuinely do. And if you'll get me on a rant, I can get on a royal rant. But I never say anything I haven't done or I'm not prepared to do. That is the difference. And when I have done done it or prepared to do it, I will back it up. And that's what I'm doing right now. So some like it, some don't. For those of you who don't like it, I'm sure one of the Lambo boys will entertain you and take your money off you. Jog on. And for those who do like it, stick with it. You will get there. You know, patience. That's what trading's all about. I've done this over 15 years now. And certainly the last five years has been a massive learning curve. Why? Because it's been my sole income for five years. So I've had to make it work. And if it doesn't work, well, like I say, I don't pay, get paid and I don't eat. And the size of me, well, let's be honest, I can do without a meal for a couple of days. But I get paid every month, so I'm still getting fed. Augusto's sweetheart saves some room for later. Happy days. And running on from that, you also need little treats. You need to be inspired for your training. It's all well and good trading all month or for a couple of months. Don't take any money out of it because they say, oh, compound it up, do this, do the other. But then it hits you in the head and you lose everything. So all that work has been for nothing. I don't believe in that. End of every month, take some money out of the pot if you're in positive expectancy. You know, if you've made a profit, if you've lost well, you have to write it off for experience. But if you've made money, take some out. Go for a meal. Buy a toy. I've, I've got toys all over here. Um, my Batmobile, my, my Yoda. And actually, this was sent to me. This is fantastic. This. How good is that? Now, I'll, I'm not going to say where it's from. Let's see if somebody can pick that up in the comments. Where's that bulldog from? And no, Paul, you're not allowed to answer because you sent it. <laughs> right? But that is superb. Um, and it's right up my street. But it motivates me. Why? Because I can see it. I can see my Batmobile. I can see my Yoda. They motivate. This weekend, I'm off to meet some of the cast of Star Wars at a Comic Con. Why have you got Boba Fett t-shirts on today? Because uh, you've got to fly the flag. And I'm so looking forward to it. And then I'm having a couple of days in a hotel. Why? Well, why not? I fancy a treat. It's a bank holiday weekend. Can't take a break next week. So I'm having a couple of days in the hotel. I've invited some of the guys from the Scruffy Squad to come and have a drink with us. We would be honoured if you would join us. Uh, and I really look forward to you, meeting you all again. It's a little salute to you. And if you're interested in the Scruffy Squad, you'll find links in the description below. Enjoying trading. Now, you might think this is a ramble, but it's actually a lot of common sense. And if you haven't got your motivation, you've lost. You have genuinely lost. And if you're just scouting around YouTube looking for a strategy you have already lost you know mcdonald's is hiring i mean i'm pretty sure they'll pay you i have recently been placed in charge of garbage when you're scouting around looking for a freeloader strategy and i get them all the time ah oh, do you show me what you do well i could show you what i do but you haven't got the mindset for it so you're still going to fail and this is what i'm driving at it's about mindset if you haven't got the right aptitude 
It's like anything else in life. This is a job. And certain at, sort of attitudes suit better jobs. You know, and if you haven't got the right, you've lost. Now, I had a hard time this month, as I was alluding to. And my attitude is a one of step back, analyze, look at what went wrong and decide how to fix it. Well, my decision was to step away from gold for a few days, concentrate on my wage account, which I do every day anyway. And I've done that with my wage account. If it gets clipped, I'll step away from that and I'll concentrate on swing trades so I can calm down and then look at it fresh eyes. But there's a constant between them. When I see it's wrong, even if it was wrong the two times before, or in this case, the five times before, I will kill it. Why? Preserve your capital. If you lose that capital, you cannot trade. And there's nothing wrong with going right down low and then rebuilding back up. Because you're not trading from failure. You're trading from experience. Experience tells you. In this case, told me to step away. It also told me to reduce the position size. Now, I went into this fund trading a big position size and it couldn't take it. So I had to learn and retrain my mind into reducing the size. Well, I did that. And I did my little and often. Get it in. Get it out. Get it in. Get it out. Build up the reserves using small position sizes till it got to a level where I could increase the position size and then move it up slightly, build it up. And all right, it's taken me most of the month to get back to where I started, but I'm still going to get paid. Let me show you. Now, there's no time limits on these accounts anymore because um, it's passed, it's funded, it's live. And as you can see at the start, started well, fell off the cliff, you know, but it was all in succession with each other. Boom, 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 boom. So I stepped back and then rebuilt it back to where it came from. Now, because I had a good time last month, left some profit in, that is why my equity is up. So again, a little bit of a buffer, but this, this time I'm going to take it all out and start flat. Why? It's like starting from scratch, you know, and I still want to be paid and I'm still positive at the end of the month. So my three year run has not ended. It nearly did, but it but it's still running. All right. Performance. I'll just have to work on it this month. Nothing to worry about. My hit rate. Well, every single one of those dots is a profit, you know, out of all the positions. Nearly all of them are in profit and most of them are in the profit factor. So I'm more than happy with the situation here. All right. It looks bad at the start, but don't lose faith. But then there's the other thing. Do these lot pay you? Yeah, they do. Because I'm going to show you right now. Profit payout. Let's see. There we are. Just under 700. Well, I can live with that. So... That, done. Right. What happens after this? Well, it drops into um, a deal account. Now, I don't know if you bear with me, I'll show you one. Well, we're waiting. Because my confirmations are starting to come in now. Uh, my name, and as you can see, my payments is now starting to come in for August and going through the year, I get lots of payments. All right. So I can't be any more transparent than that, guys, because you've seen it come in. You've seen the deal account, which was live, uh, used it on the website. So it can't be sort of deemed photoshopped or whatever it is. Some people say that that they do. And here we go. Uh, I'll just flick this over so you can see it. It's, um, just had an email confirmation come through. Uh, da, 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 da. There you go. 
confirmations come through straight away for what was um, requested and that'll drop into my daily account next week so what's the moral here guys for well, one it's just showing you what I do uh, kind of keeps me inspired um, because I like to show the guys the good and the bad can't win them all but you can manage them all and as long as you manage them you can get from a bad position to a good position now all the naysayers out there that go ah that's crap and you should have your risk reward this that and the other i don't give a shit i really don't you know why because i do this for a living and when it's wrong i know it's wrong don't need to be told if you can't take a little bloody nose maybe you ought to go back home and crawl under your bed or maybe i do who knows anyway so what are you going to take away from this little video well if you've got a plan stick to it whatever it is you know if you you've got a hundred pips stop loss and that's where you think your maximum pay threshold is that's it doesn't go 101 it's 100 so you need cast iron rules i have them i have what i call pain tolerances i'll have an area on the chart that is a pain tolerance and as soon as the price goes into it couldn't care less um even if i've gone into market and i don't put stop losses in or things like that as soon as that price goes in that zone it's over game out but i'm disciplined enough to do it you know if you're not disciplined have a stop loss what's the next part no when to step away i was hassled a lot of things going on in my life at this moment in time i needed to step away from it why calm the mind down third part is the mind make certain whenever you're at the charts you are calm methodical and ready for it in other words do your homework and fourth don't panic now don't you panic mr manning come don't on, panic come on, don't, don't panic, panic. Sir. Don't panic. Don't... there's no point to panicking you know you can but what happens when you panic you get angry or you get fearful or you get shameful if you've done something wrong and that panic can also breed resentment and once you down that road all of these negative emotions compound and compact and you'll make the wrong choice because you'll lash at the market um, how do you lash at the market you go well you've taken 10 times off me i want 20 times off you well the market's a lot bigger than you so what it'll do is it'll batter you again except this time it'll batter you harder because you've tried harder you're better off stepping back and not changing a thing if you've got a system that you know works and is battle tested as mine is my, my, the way i trade battle tested for years when i get clipped i've told you i'll get clipped hard but it won't kill the account and if over time it is consistent to growth and that's where you win rinse and repeat and trust your judgment so i'll, I'll welcome your thoughts um because a bit of an odd video this this is like coffee with scruff where it's just my thoughts um trading is the more subjective career choice going everyone's an expert but there's only a few can actually do it you know, it's a bit like I call them bar stool managers. You know, it's the people who shout at the screen telling football managers how to run a football match game. Now I don't particularly like football, I think it's a stupid game. But it always astounds me when I watch my brothers and I and my dad, they'll scream at the telly, you know, saying, Ah, I should do this, should do that. And I'm sitting there thinking, Well, what do you know? Nothing. You know. You don't know. But you've got a big mouth so that's why trading's hard because everybody does have an opinion but everybody trades different and as long as it's working it doesn't matter what you do you know you like my way of trading great don't like my way of trading don't matter you know i might like your way of trading but i'm not going to pull you apart on it if it works for you it's a wonderful system if it doesn't work for you well, then there's something wrong 
and you need to figure out what that is. Now, for me, it works. So I don't need to find something wrong. <laughs> so there you go. Bit of a grumble, bit of a rant. But I'm off to see Star Wars cast on Sunday. Look forward to that. Then Mucky Weekend with Juan. Definitely looking forward to that. Oh, that's disgusting. And a booze up with the guys on Monday. Looking forward to that. And then if I'm sick, I'm going to Blackpool. Get a kiss me quick hat. Why? Well, just giant kid, and I think it's a good idea. In fact, yes, I'm going to Blackpool. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Blackpool next week as well. So I'm going to have a jolly old time of things, take Bruiser out for a run, and enjoy life. And that's what trading's done for me. I can do what I like, when I like. And as you've just seen, 5 percenters have just paid for it. So I've got 700 quid to piss in the wind, and that's exactly what that, that accounts for. It's just enjoyment. It's already been paid for because I've already had money out of it. It's paid for its investment. And even if I went catastrophically wrong with that, it doesn't matter. My return on investment has been returned and give me a decent return for that. There's something for you to think about. So as always, guys, trade well, keep your risk managed. But above all, do what you love and the money will follow. See you all in the next one.